honestly, I think in leading hotels, it's a really wonderful group of people. I mean, I say that without hesitation. It's the best. Simple as that. Oh, it's a big prestige. I think it's the best portfolio of hotels that you have in the world. And we are members since the beginning in our property in Sao Paulo, since 2001. So we have a long-term relationship. Leading hotels of the world, it's really a partnership and we work very closely with them. Shannon says it very well. Um, she said, you know, we're here to do for you what you can't do for yourselves. And um, that really, in a nutshell, is, is how we work with them because we look at the areas where we have the resources um, and we have the connections and then ask them to, to work on the other areas. It's a mixture of marketing, of sales, uh, it's technology, uh, reservations, uh, technology helps to be effective, to be fast, uh, it's a convenience factor and it's only if you have the right technology that you don't have third parties going between you and the customer and the technology of leading hotels helps us a lot in that sense. Whenever there's an opportunity, when something happens on a property, a recognition, an award or something, leading hotel goes out of its way to make sure that that's shared throughout their constituency and their press opportunities and marketing opportunities, which is incredibly helpful. It's absolutely uh, very important because being a, a one of a property, uh, we need to be globally visible, but at the same time uh, maintain our independence because we have a, a very strong DNA. Uh, I'm running a hotel that is in the sixth generation or in, in, in family ownership. So in that sense, uh, leading hotels of the world is a, is a fantastic uh, organization for us. I think it's nice to have like-minded <laughs> colleagues around you and especially as individually owned hotels, um, to have a network of professionals like that um, is quite, quite an amazing experience actually. I always learn because we exchange a lot of information and have different perspectives about best practice, about uh, trends, about so always we, we get together with this annual convention with leading hotels. It's quite a, a really, really a real exchange of information about thoughts, about experience, so it's really, really helpful. We exchange ideas, you know, we, we, we share experiences, uh, we, we, we maintain good relationships and exchanging staff. Uh, you know, we have talents, so we want to be, make sure our talents stay within leading hotels uh, so we can develop their career uh, as an independent hotelier because normally you, this is something that maybe a, a global organization, a, a branded chain hotel can easily do, but with leading hotels we are independent hotels can do that as well. If I talk about Utka Collection, we really put a lot of importance on meaningful connections. I think that um, luxury has become a little bit more relaxed, but certainly our guests expect that the people that they interact with in our hotels will be people that they can really connect with. What we find is that guests have a, a very important sense of ownership of the properties. So they think it's very important that the people who work there also respect those properties and respect the ways, you know, the way that they interact with the clients. So I would say that it's it's slightly more relaxed and probably more meaningful. Actually, it's, I think that luxury is much more experimental. Of course, this is what trend everybody says, but more than that, luxury is much more caring. I think luxury has changed the sense that you don't have any more this formality or this all a sense of rules. I think it's much more accessible, much more friendly, much more flexible, of course, but always very related to details, very related to, to handcraft, to quality. I think the whole concept of dripping deluxe luxury can be quite offensive, and for me, the word that really matters the most is sustainability. Obviously, if you look at the portfolio of leading hotels, minimalists, we are mostly not, but within the context of what our properties represent, I think one can rethink luxury to make it more meaningful. And we are leading hotels, and that implies that we are leaders in our field. And I think we sometimes have an obligation not to follow, but to actually lead in certain circumstances. And I think sustainability is where we have a huge opportunity.